Hi, Mark T, the handyman here. Today we're going to install a water drop WD PMT pressure water tank. This is a picture that came with all the components listed, but we're not going to use all of them. That's for different applications. So what I'm going to show you in the next picture is what we're going to use. So these are the supplies that the water drop pressure water tank come with. You've got the tubing, the tank, two T's, two valves, and some Teflon tape. Well, the very first thing we've got to do is we've got to turn the water off to the RO system. There we go. Next, we're going to disconnect the power to the RO system. So now, using the Teflon tape that came with the new tank, we're going to go in a clockwise motion, the same way the threads are going to go when we thread this on. Now we have the Teflon tape on the pressure tank, so it's time to put the isolation valve on the tank. The valve itself has a little rubber gasket in there for a tighter fit. The valve is going to screw on the, in a clockwise motion, but I wouldn't use a big wrench on this. It's just a piece of plastic. If you over tighten the threads, I think it can be broken. I'm using a smaller adjustable wrench so as not to get too much leverage. So now we're going to insert the T that goes on top of the valve for the pressure tank. What we are going to do now is splice into the RO water line that supplies water to our sink and also to our refrigerator. We're going to cut the tube right about here. Now I'm going to use this utility knife. I'm using this board for a little support against the wall. Now we're going to take these two ends of the tubes that we just cut and push them into the T. Well, so far so good. Now it's time to turn the water back on. Next thing we need to do is turn the power on for the RO system. Then we will run the system for about three to five minutes. After we have run the system for a couple of minutes, we are going to flush the pressure tank. The flushing procedure is pretty easy. First, you close the isolation valve on the tank. Then you remove the T by pushing in the ring that holds the T in place. Next, you hold the pressure tank over the bucket and flush the water out by opening the valve. Then you reconnect the tank to the T. Now this is the finished product. Here's a before and after picture the time it took to fill up two and a half cups in this measuring cup. Looks like it was a little bit better so I guess it works. If you like this video give me a thumbs up or a like. If you want to see more of my videos Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.